So there are all kinds of things lumberjacks are famous for. Let me tell you about some of those things. Number one, lumberjacks love pancakes. It's the number one delicacies of all lumberjacks in the world. Number two, lumberjacks love axes. It's their best companion, their best friend, their best tool, the best thing that they own. Lumberjacks love these things. Number three, lumberjacks love wood. They love anything made of wood. Anything that's been fashioned from wood throughout the history of the world, they love that. Number three, lumberjacks love themselves. Ever heard of Jenga, the game of wooden blocks? Lumberjacks made it. Ever heard of the famous wooden puppet, Pinocchio? Lumberjacks. Ever heard of the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria? Three ships, historical ships. Lumberjacks were responsible for those. Lumberjacks have made and fashioned all sorts of things in this world. Probably the most famous things lumberjack make, lumberjacks make are chairs. And all throughout the history of lumberjacks, we've had one man leading us, one visionary, one person who, who, who is famous, some might even say infamous, and his name is Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan used to have a, uh, used to have a saying, it was uh, kind of a mantra that he had. It was, Earth's fruits were made for men's use. He formed his whole life by it. It was uh, kind of a weird saying, he said it so often that it got very old. But uh, he was just a, a man among men. His, his beard made Gandalf look like he just started puberty. He, uh, he ate so many pancakes once that he was banned from IHOP. His axe was formed out of the fires of Mount Doom. It's the most powerful thing that's ever been invented, and only Paul Bunyan has been able to wield it so far. Paul Bunyan was a man among men. It's rumored that both of his parents were lumberjacks, but that's just a myth. Only his mother was a lumberjack. His father owned a famous snow cone stand in Minnesota. And it's, it's said by, that by the time he was nine months old, that Paul Bunyan was fully grown, that he could swing an axe and chop down an entire village. It's also said that by the time he was, he was one, that he was shaving his face completely. And by the time he turned two, he was able to shave his armpits. Paul Bunyan was a man among men. So long before any of those so-called famous power duos in the United States, Batman and Robin, Sonny and Cher, um, Brangelina, there was the power duo, the most powerful compadres in America, Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. Little do you know that they were the ones who held all the power in the United States. Anything that got done was done because of Paul Bunyan and Babe. You ever heard of Richard Nixon? They were responsible for his impeachment. Ever heard of the formation of a little thing called the Blue Man Group? That was Babe and Paul's brainchild. They were powerful, they were mighty, they were majestic, and no one could separate them. Really the height of their political power came around Christmas of 2012. There were some real movers and shakers. Influencing, being influenced, finding influencers, influencing them so they could turn around and influence themselves. Things were going so well, in fact, that Babe needed to take a break, so he, he, he went home uh, to his home in the Blue Forest of British Columbia, and uh, Paul got bored while he was gone, and everyone knows that when lumberjacks get bored, bad things happen. Bunyan went so crazy, in fact, he, he went on a rampage. He went logging up the, the coast of the Pacific Northwest, and he fell into what most people call beast mode and destroyed everything that was in his path. That was a sad day in the, the history of the lumberjacks. Events in the Blue Forest or a blight on the history of all lumberjackery. Yeah, you know, I love chopping, I love hitting, I love cutting, smelling, I love all those things. But this was awful. You know, even the, even the most seasoned lumberjack, when they saw what Paul did to the Blue Forest, they had to puke their guts up. Paul Bunyan was never the same after that. Uh, all because of Paul's lust for timber, his lust for wood and chopping things down, led to the demise of his best friend. Babe died, that was a, a real, real turning point for Bunyan. It caused him to have to really look deep inside himself in the awfulness that was there, and he had to confront it. You know, when tragedy happens, um, it makes you reevaluate a lot of things. And, uh, like, what are we even doing here? Like, what am I doing here? And, like, even bigger questions than that, like, what's real? Like, am I real? Are you real? Or are we just, like, are we realer than real? So, I mean, big changes in my life, uh, you know, are I got rid of my, uh, my gas guzzling truck, um, and, uh, you know, they got eight miles to the gallon and burned a quart of oil 
every time I, I you know, once a week and putting a new court in and got, got my Prius. And uh, I love it, man. Environmental footprint's incredible. Um, you know, it's a, it's a rating of like negative five, um, 60 miles to the gallon. And, you know, it's just, it's just so good for the earth. And uh, got it in green so that I can um, remember all of the, uh, you know, trees that I, I once destroyed. Lumberjacks have definitely been around here. There's uh, destruction everywhere. You can, uh, you know, I mean, I can't really blame them. I, I, you know, I was one for so long and understand how they work, but it's like they just don't even care about chlorophyll or the deoxidation of plants. I mean, we, we depend on that stuff for our oxygen. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a lumberjack anymore. I, uh, I don't cut down trees anymore. Man, I'm a, I want to bring life. And so I plant trees now. You know, I don't like going to restaurants anymore. And I mean, why buy food when I can seek out my meals from what others are just discarding? So recently I've been playing around with this thing called, uh, and learning more about this thing called triangle theory. And uh, basically it's just like everything um, is connected. Everything is a triangle. Um, like you, me, camera. I just want to be involved in the circle of life and like like Mufasa, um, I mean that guy got it. We eat the antelopes and the antelopes eat the grass and then when they die, you know, when we die we become the grass. So it's like this huge circle. Um, lumberjacking, yeah, I, I can't see myself going back to that lifestyle ever. Um, I mean, I wish them well. I mean, you know, everything they do is, you know, filled with hate and you know destruction and uh but i mean i'm not here to judge you know lumberjacks have never found themselves they've they've just been stuck in this rut of searching for their identity you know our leader the the guy who had set the pace for all of us for years is is gone he's turned his back on all of us and we're just left to wonder who are we you know i guess since all that you could say that we're searching we're like sheep without a shepherd. We're, we're like um, uh, small animals without larger animals to show them where to go. Lumberjacks haven't had a leader since then. We're trying to find someone to take that mantle. Who will hold that axe high? We don't know who that is yet, but hopefully someday we'll find out.